Hello YouTubers, and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to hack Grid Runner for the Commodore VIC-20 using the popular VICE emulation tool. First off, we're going to load up the um, cassette, so we're going to attach the tape image. I'm going to select Grid Runner. And now we're just simply going to load uh, the program. And of course, through the power of emulation, we can speed things up by um, going into warp mode. If we list the program that's loaded, we've just got one command here, sys7076. So I'm going to pull up my calculator. 7076 is 1B alpha in hexadecimal. So with that in mind we're going to go into uh, monitor mode which you can do via file activate monitor or you can use the shortcut key here. So disassemble 1b a4. Okay so we know that this particular game um, uh, loads in just one uh, one go so I'm just going to exit out of there and just type run so there was no fancy title page there was no um, additional loader it was just the, the program code straight away and when we die or get hit we know that we start off with five men we've been reduced down to four Okay, so I'm going to reset the, the emulator now, and we're going to reload the cassette. Okay, so things that we know. We, we know that there's um, five lives. Uh, Jeff, it's a Llama Soft. So we're going to look for a piece of code that says set lives equal to five, and typically this would be in six five zero two LDA hash dollar zero five SDA dollar. Typically, it's not always the case, but this is the most common pattern that we will search for. Uh, enter into um, our monitor and we know the start and end address the program loaded by having a look at the memory at 33c that tells us that it's binary we know that the program loaded at 1001 and the end address was 1 delta foxtrot foxtrot 1 dff just before screen memory so this is the area that we're now going to, to hunt and search between those, those two um, memory addresses. The opcode for LDA is A9. Like you can see here, this is a previous session. And we're going to hunt uh, between $1001 and $1DFF for the sequence A905. And we have three hits, which is kind of handy for ourselves here. So I'm just going to make a note of that uh, into our notepad. 12ED1450 and 1B84. So let's have a look at the first disassemble. 12E, let's go back a bit, D0 to uh, 12 FF. And this looks like valid code. We can see uh, here we've got an LDA with five and stores it in address six in zero page. So we know that that's stored in address zero six. Let's have a look at 14 
five zero. So fourteen. Let's go back a bit. Fourteen four zero to fourteen six zero. Okay, this looks like it's the start of a uh, an assembler routine. And again, we've got uh, our piece of code. Load a or load the accumulator with five. Storing it at address sixteen. And then finally, let's have a look at one B eight four. So disassemble one B. Let's go back a little bit to one B ninety. And again, a valid piece of code. And in this instance, it's storing it at location dollar F zero. We can do a number of things here. We can look for a piece of code that loads the memory address and decrements or subtracts one uh, from each of those. But with the power of um, the, the new tool set, we can set uh, breakpoints when there's a store. So we can say uh, break store at um, $0.06. Break store at dollar sixteen. Oops, help if I could spell break store at dollar sixteen and break store dollar F zero. So any changes to those memory addresses, um, the emulator will break. We could also um, have a look at those memory addresses. So we go M dollar. 06 dollar 06 it's d3 doesn't quite look like it will, will match um uh, match a number of lies m dollar 16 dollar 16 19 doesn't look like a very likely candidate but sometimes the, the programmers mess around with um uh, with petsky codes and then let's have a look at F0. And F0 um, also contains 9F at the moment. I'm going to come out of the emulator because obviously we've not started the game yet. But we've got um, a baseline for uh, what's going on here. We're going to type run. OK. And we've already got our our first breakpoints storing the accumulator of 0 to address 16. We're going to continue. OK, and now we've got um, the value 5 being stored at F0. So this could be a very likely candidate. But let's continue to see what happens if we get any more breaks. OK, we've got another store at address 6, and the value being stored is, is 2, which doesn't sound very life-like at 5. But let's continue, because really we need um, either a repetition of breakpoints being hit, or um, a life being lost when uh, we get hit. OK, um, we've now got accumulator set to 5 in address 6. So this could be uh, an area of interest. So let's add that to the list. And we're breaking again, but this time we've got the value of two. So I'm gonna think here that actually, we've not started the game, we've not lost a life yet. We've probably gone past initialization, so we don't need this break point. So I think we can rule this one out. Could be wrong, but let's, Let's uh, go on a hunch here. So we're going to delete breakpoint one, which was determined here, and then continue. OK, the game's up and running, and we've now got another uh, breakpoint that's hit on uh, memory address 16. And this is storing 20 um, space in, um, in ASCII, if that's the case. This doesn't look like very lifelike either, so I'm going to go on another hunch here and delete breakpoint two. 
Continue. Um, we need to get zapped. Aha! Right, now we have hit a breakpoint. And we've got an interesting command here at uh, 1b3a decrement dollar f0. Let's put that in now. And let's have a look at what's in the address f0. Value 4. Since this command has already been executed, uh, I think it's probably safe to say that this here is where our lives are, um, are being processed. So let's have a look at the code around it. We've got uh, a decrement and if branch if it's equal to zero to um, another location. So we're going to test this. We're going to test the theory here. Uh, we know we're going to lose a life. So I'm going to make a change. So we're going to assemble 1b3a with aura dollar f0. We're not going to decrement the uh, piece of code we're just going to or it with itself so it should never be subtracted by one and we're going to continue the game we know that we're down to four men now but now we need to lose um, another life okay look at this four men so it looks like we've found infinite lives but we should always test these things so I'm going to play this through what's going on here then so the, the program is broken and there's another instruction here to increment it's so we get an extra life for completing a level. So let's have a look at the code around here. 1DD0. So here we go. We increment the number of lives. We load the value in lives and compare it. Does it equal 10? If it does, we're going to jump to this location here. Does it equal 11? If so, we're going to jump to this location here. Otherwise, um, we're just going to carry on execution of the code. So it looks like it uh, wants to limit the number of lives to nine. Um, although, if you've got to um, 11 and it's decrementing it down to 10, it's um, I think that's potentially a bug. But uh, let's let's see what happens. Let's just continue. And interestingly, we've hit another breakpoint at 1db0 rather than at um, 1db, uh, 1db8, was it? Uh, so let's have a look. 1d a0 to 1d c0. There's another command to increment the number of lives. So it looks like we're gaining two lives. And it's going to jump to 1b2a. Which is meant to decrement it again. So it's doing some initialization and checking for, for boundaries by the looks of it. Or end of um, end of game. I think we've now added two lives because we're not decrementing the second time. And yeah, there we go. We've got six lives now. So this makes me think there's something not quite 
right with his cheats. So let's uh, carry on playing. And it might take a few goes to. Okay, so we're going back to the increment again. We're going to continue that. And now we've got eight lives. We need to complete the next one, I guess. Well, at least we've not lost any men. We're still back to eight. Okay, we're back to incrementing the uh, the number of lives again. Let's uh, have a look at the memory address in F F0. Now that's OA10. Let's continue. Aha! Just as I thought. That doesn't make sense at all. So that could be um, a bug, or most likely because we've uh, fiddled around with the code. So we need to fix this. So we need to fix this with the uh, the, the increment. So uh, let's have a look. Where did we break? One B, four B. So let's have a look at this code again. B thirty. So one B four B is uh, around here. which is the original, okay, 1B3A, this is the original deck um, instruction. And we have that secondary increment. So let's have a look at that. Um, So we need to look for the hot, hot code. Uh, um, 1001, E00, 4, E6, F0. And we've got two. And they're in close proximity to each other. So 1DB0, so 1DAO. We've got one at 1db0 here, which just as an increment doesn't do any validation or checking before jumping back. And we've got the secondary one around, here we go, at 1db8 that does the sanity, um, sanity check to make sure that we're not going over boundaries. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add or change and modify at 1db0, so assemble. On db0 or a dollar f0. So we're not incrementing it now. So hopefully uh, we should only see um, adding one life at the end of a level. And to test this, we're going to modify um, f0 
uh, fill dollar f zero two f zero with the value nine for nine lives. And uh, next time around, this should be corrected and continue execution of the game. So we just need to die to. There we go. So we're back to nine lives. Now, of course, I've got to try and uh, beat the level. Damn it! Damn it! Sorry folks, this may take a bit of time. Oh yes, we've now completed the level. Uh, we've got the increments decrement and we still have nine lives so we fixed that problem so what do we do now okay we're going to reset the uh, the machine uh, we're going to delete all the breakpoints we're going to load the cassette in again The game code is loaded, but we need to know the um, exact address to, to poke. So we're going to bring back our trusty calculator uh, over here, and we know that um, we know that one B three A needed to be changed to an aura. So we poke 6970 with five. And we know that the additional increment at one delta B0, one DB0, oops, one DB0, 7600. Poke 7600 comma five. Don't believe me? Let's have a look. Disassemble um, 1D C0. Sorry, uh, 1D A0. And we've changed 1D B0 to Aura, $F0, or the memory address. And the next one is at uh, 1. One B. One B three A disassembled or one B twenty. So one B three A is now set to aura. Just make sure that we've got all checkpoints deleted. Type row. Okay, we've got um, extra life. 
Now we just need to die. Da da! Oh, we still have six men. Congratulations! You've now found your first cheat for a, a rather superb game of Grid Runner. If you found this video useful, please, um, you know, do the usual like, subscribe, uh, spread the word, and um, happy hacking!